Have I seen a blind girl do makeup? You're about to watch it. Okay, so this is the makeup I'm going to be using. I've pretty much got Bare Minerals and MAC makeup with a L'Oreal lipstick and a Rimmel eyeliner and liquid eyeliner. And of course my brushes, they're mainly MAC as well. So I guess let's get started. Um, is it a crime to see me without makeup? Is that really what I look like? Ew. Okay, so I'm just going to put some primer on. Uh, it's bare in minerals. Primer's primer. You can use any primer. I've already put it on my face, by the way. I'm just going to put it in and rub it all over like crap like that. You know, um, why do we use this stuff? It keeps our makeup on longer so we look prettier. Okay, next we use a mascara. Uh, all to prove his best. Look down because then it makes sure you don't get the crap on your eyelids. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, everyone's supposed to be going, why are you doing your mascara first? Or, uh, I'll tell you guys in a minute. Um, do it as long as you want. If you want to look like you're looking for a boyfriend, do it longer. If you just want a little bit, do it a little bit. I mean, it's whatever choice you want, really. Okay, next you're going to put on your eyeshadows. I've got a cream and a brown here. If you're listening and, <clears throat> excuse me, and you can't see what you're doing um, or what colors these are, they're basically really neutral colors so that you don't look like you're making an effort. Wow, you look like you've got no makeup on, like you're really naturally beautiful. Mm -hmm, yeah, it's this cream and brown eyeshadow that I can't even see on my face that apparently makes me look naturally beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to go and put some cream on my eye straight away. Uh, notice the fact that I'm not using a mirror because blind people are talented. Um, I'm going to go right up to the eyebrow bone because then it's just covering it all up because um, it is a cream which is practically a similar colour to your own skin. Uh, and that's that pretty done there. Okay, next I've got the brown and I'm going to go from the edge of the eye in the crease until about the middle of the eye and I'm just going to keep going forward and backwards to fill in that brown into the crease there from the middle to the end of the crease of your eye backwards and forwards a little bit along the eye lid by your mascara. This is where it comes in really well because you've put on a thick mascara you can feel where the edge of your eyelid is and you're following it in. You've basically made a kind of triangle effect so from the crease of the eye along the eyelid and then right in the corner just colour it in as if it's I don't know a colouring in book I guess so this is what your eyeshadow should look like it should go from a cream into a brown like a um, like yeah like it's been shaded into each other get a, a baby wipe or a thingy and just kind of go under the eye and along the side of the eye just to make sure there's no loose powder left. How the hell do blind people use liquid eyeliner? Easy my friends, easy. So remember how I said earlier put your waterproof mascara on first it's because it's made a thick line so you can tell where your eyelid is. Now. The best thing to do is, if you are completely blind, head for the inner part of your nose because you can always wipe it away first. You want to go for that corner and then you just want to brush along one stroke once with the um, eyelashes. So you're following the eyelashes along, so something along this. This is where I do it completely wrong. I found my it into the corner. I'm following the mascara, I'll do it again to show you. Just using the thickness of the mascara, I can feel go along the line. Exactly the same with a pencil eyeliner going underneath the eye. You are going from the uh, like the deer tuck, the tear duct, sorry and going along the eyelid, this time with short lines to go right underneath it and follow it all the way around to the corner. And do it a few times to make it nice and thick. And then completely framing your eyes with the darkness. I wouldn't suggest putting your uh, 
actual pencil line are actually on the up top of the waterline, just underneath the mascara that you've already done. Doing it on the other eye quickly as well. So you're just following that mascara again. It's a lot easier at the bottom because you're following your actual waterline from your tear duct all the way to the edge of the eye. Simple. Next is, I'm just going to use a powder foundation for today. But you're literally just going to put it all over. I'm using a brush like this. Um, it's just really soft and a thick brush so I can quickly do it all over my face. Um, if you want to use concealer right now, then that's when you'll do it. So just going all over the face. Down the nose and all over. Lifting up any hair and going round it. You know, going right under the eye, but make sure you're missing your eyes. You don't want to go over your eyelids because you've already done them. If you've got the right um, skin colour foundation, then it shouldn't really matter if you've kind of missed like a little dot or anything because it should all blend in. If you're going for a different colour, well, frankly, you're stupid. Next is going to be contour time. Yes, I bet you think, bitch please, I don't even know how to do contour with vision, let alone without vision. This is where you're wrong, my friend. Bronzer, check, bare minerals that is, by the way. A little tiny brush, but it looks like, I don't know, I don't really know how to explain it. Sorry, anyone else that's visually impaired watching this. But basically you want a small kind of precision brush. Not something that you'd use on your eyes, but a small mini blusher brush. Because then you can get the real detail of making your face look skinny mini. With a bit of bronzer and highlighter. Okay, so first I put a bit of bronzer on this brush. And what we are doing is we're going to try and make your face look skinny. Um, frankly... I don't really understand how this works. I think it just makes you look like lines are on your face. But hey, it's fashion. So what I do is I suck in my face as if you're going to like pout, like a pout trout. Like kind of sucking in your cheeks at the same time. This is showing where your, um, your, your cheekbones are. So by using your own hands, you can just feel where your cheekbones are. This bronzer wants to go just underneath your cheekbone. So feel where your cheekbone is with your hands and then pull it right underneath. If you're then sucking in... You just feel where the gaunt gap is in your cheeks. You want to kind of go from the edge of your face, so by your ear, down to uh, where the gaunt of your face sucks in. I wouldn't go any further because otherwise you're just going to look like stripes. So pulling that face in from the ear and going diagonally down underneath the cheekbone and then stopping. Um, it's kind of just underneath the edge of your eye and where the gaunt of you sucking in your cheek will work. It's a dead straight line. Well diagonally like that do it as many times as you want hey the skinny you want the darker the line you want or as some people say the darker you go the stupider you, you also want to put a bit of bronzer on either side of your nose because apparently people have fat noses um, and you also want to do a bit of bronzer on either side of your temple because apparently by putting a tiny bit of bronzer on either side of your temple it's going to make your face look longer and skinnier because hey clearly Americans made this up um, frankly I think it's stupid but I do carry on the trends because <laughs> it makes me look skinny without going to Weight Watchers Next is a bit of highlighter. Um, I suggest that you go to whatever makeup store you like best and ask them which highlighter is best for your skin colour. They offered me this one which seems to have glitter in it because they know I'm a princess. Um, you want to put a little bit of it on your brush. And then what you're doing is you're now going to highlight your cheekbone. So exactly where you just ha have put the bronzer on but above it actually on your cheekbone. You want to do a little bit on the top cheekbone there and following it down towards your nose as well, like the diagonal shape that you did the bronzer, a little bit going towards your eye as well. I like to do a little bit round the uh, the sides of the edges of your eye as well. Simple as, hey, don't I just look even more skinnier and beautiful than I ever did before? You also want to do uh, straight down the bridges of your nose to make it look even more skinnier and longer. And your cupid bone, if you don't know what your cupid bone is, it's like indent above your lip. Don't need to highlight like that. Makes you look even more skinnier. And I do the bottom of my chin as well, because hey, 
Let's face it, let's just make my chin look skinny too. Blend it all in with a blending brush all over your face because hey, you don't want to look like Wimbledon's tennis calls grass. Next is your lips. Now, people seem to think that us blind people can't do lip liner. Again, wrong my friend, wrong. Um, it took me a little while to practice, but it is pretty simple. Um, I'm going to go for red because hey, I want to look sexy. So I've got a red uh, lip liner here. This is from Bare Minerals. It's really good because it's really soft and it wipes off when you do it in the wrong places. I literally just follow the bottom of my lip round. Like a bit of a smiley face. And I also colour in the corners of my lips. And on the top, I literally go from the middle of the lip, actually on the lip, and then go up to the edge until you feel it. And then do the hump to the left and the hump to the right and then straight down the lip don't be afraid to go wild on this and then I do little squiggly lines on my actual lips to just pull it in you can go thick if you want but definitely go from the middle of the lip up to the edge go do the hump to the left and the hump to the right and then fill it all in with that sexy red lipstick that you wanted. On your lips. I mean, if you if you want to do tribal stripes and you might guess, but uh, lipstick's usually for your lips. And there you have it. A blind girl has just done her makeup. Yes, I know. I look amazing. So if you haven't already, click above on my link and make sure you like my page. And hey, why not share this to every one of your friends that don't know how to do their makeup, even with vision. Ta-da!